at the life of Jacob. Uh, we've been looking at some of the things uh, that, that makes him to be uh, an exceptional person. Yeah. See, nobody's here. Nobody's here. Change this. Praise God. So, and I know that we've been blessed since three weeks now that we've been on it. Praise God. From book of Genesis 25, 31 to 34, that's where we are going to take our reading from this morning. Genesis 25 and verse 31 to 34. I want us to look at something very important. Let's open to that place. Genesis chapter 25 from verse 31 to 34. 25, 31 to 34. Anyone in the house to put that on the screen for us? God is faithful. Before we go on that, please, women, don't forget we have rally. We have rally this afternoon. And also our Riaza for the women conference. We are the one to anchor the program. Anchor the program on, uh, on, on Sunday. So please, let's try our best. Let's try our best to make sure we are here. So Genesis 25, 31 to 34. Make sure we, you invite your friends, invite your colleagues. Men are, are, are also expected to be here. But please, we don't want our children to come so that our mothers can have time to concentrate. Are we there? Okay, let's rise to our feet. In honor of God's word, let's read from the book of Genesis 25, 31 to 34 together. One, two, three, and let's go. Jacob's. Your bite right as of this day. Okay? And 32. Please be quick about this. So that, okay? Let's go. And Esau said, Look, I am about to die. So what is this bite right to me? Hmm. 30, 33. Then Jacob said, Swear to me as of this day. So he swore to him and sold his bite right to Jacob. And 34. And Jacob gave Esau bread and steal of Lent list. When then he ate and drank, arose and went his way. Hmm. Thus, Esau despised his bite right. Father, we have been told <laughs> before, and now we can see from your from the from the scripture that something that needs to do about our life that we must cherish is indeed in reality. And this morning, Father, we pray. That you open our eyes of understanding. Let us understand your word this morning in Jesus' name. Let's know what is important to our life, important to our destiny, and to our purpose in life in Jesus' name. That at the end, your name shall be glorified. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Okay, let's have a seat. God bless you. This morning, from where we've read, I, I want to open our eyes to something very important this morning. If you look carefully at us, at where we just read this morning, you will notice two things about these twins, this Jacob and Esau. If you have been reading before now, you will discover that what happened between two of them is what is happening in our generation now. And that was the reason why I prayed that prayer that way. That we've, we've seen, we've heard, Abi, what is often worry? I think the Bible. If there are some things that are very important to our life that we don't value, we don't take as something important. And that's the reason why we've decided to go back to it. So many of us, when we are growing up, we are, we are being told about this scripture. It's uh, Jacob and Esau. Oh, it's uh, Ophony, uh, porridge. It got to a stage when, we, when I was small. I don't like eating porridge. Because of this, that they may out of it take my destiny. Because that was what we were told in our children's church. That's because of ordinary... As I do imagine. There is a song they, they, they carve out of it when we were small. Something like that. So it has been in, a, in my mind right from the beginning that one <laughs> of And as we are growing, we discover that there is nothing strange in cooking porridge. We need to study it again and again as we are growing. And our children also, I want you to listen. The Lord will bless us all this morning in Jesus' name. If you, this, if you look at the life of these twins, it's something we all should 
sit down and think and rethink over and over what happened between two of them Jacob was a man of deep understanding he knew the things of internal value he understand what it takes for somebody to come to the life and fulfill purpose somebody will say ah Chebi, they were small it was when they were inside he, the brother one came first he drew the Bama uh, later. You know all those stories that we were being told from the beginning of that. But when they came to the heart, do you know that this guy continued the same thing? He understand what it meant to have a purpose in life. He saw on his own hand was a man who only lived for the presence. He saying, hello, only. I ate that nature in children. Okay, maybe they gave us something and said, hey, yeah, yeah. Mommy, she will still have. I hate it. And thank God, my children, as they are growing, they understand. They, they gave us something. It's not for us to finish it now. It has been, maybe because where I'm coming from, we are six in number. And as I was coming up, during my own time, so they, they taught us how now to manage so now if I, they should give us anything I, I, I like get on I, I can remember that statement from my mom my mom said I like get on yeni. so it has been my in my mind Jacob was not like Esau Jacob is looking at the future Esau is looking at what now it's just like somebody gave us money about a few years ago Actually, we are building that level, the small place like that. And somebody walked in and said, ah, Papa, Mama, can you they gave us envelope. They gave all of us, including the children. As the person left, I told my husband, my husband said, hey, hey, Apple, I think you were there that day. Apple, come and help us to get something from food company. Which food go? Which food go? We are, we are moving to, we have made promise to the landlord of our new, I mean, where we are presently that we don't want to, we will live about two months, you know, before, I mean, that we live there before we use our money. For, ah, you are not saying they should go to food. I can remember Apo was there and I collected everything from their hand. I put everything together. I think the total money was about 50 or 70. Apo, because the POP that they are to do for us is about 90 or 100,000 that time. So you are not hungry. You don't like eating something that is delicious. You don't like. <laughs> That's how I pack all the money from their hand. I said, call daddy. Daddy, they say, daddy, she not me. Help me to call the person. Let them come and fix it. He said, ah, she, and we are hungry. They gave us as gifts. I said, they gave you. Are you going to wait for God to come and give us the money that we want? That was how I packed the money. They called him. He came that day and as he was going, he said, Oh, they are doing me, Oh, what the fuck? We, we, we look at the future. Kilombol or no? Assuming we did not do it, I'm sorry to use this, to say this on her. The people that we met, where we left, they are still there to today. And in those days, in our does mean, Rat he did not allow us to rest. Because of what? They eat a jackpot. Bah! Millions of naira. And in our present like this, they will go. As they are coming out down from the car, they will carry lylon. One lylon, big lylon, big lylon. White. You understand what he meant. That lylon. By the time we get to the backyard, Harpo can bear me witness. The, the place will have filled up with different things. My husband will say, Come on, not here. Baru, ye, ye. When you will talk about what invest in my love, you will not like what you will see. And that is what is happening now. We can compare the two. The future, be futuristic. Don't, where we are going this morning, we'll go I will explain some things to us. It's not that it's not good for us to eat and to ferry, ferry. But in your tobas, you can't share that. That you know that you have more than enough. This is what happened to this guy. Esau was a man who only lived for the present. And one of the reasons several believers make wrong choices in life is because they don't know what is important. And that's the reason why we are mixing it up. We are missing it in destiny. Several 
believe I don't know what is important. What is the next thing in their life? One more. I have to decide for, uh, for, for diploma in University of Ibadan because nobody was able to help. I was working. I was going to school. I was working. I was going to school, doing it together. It got to a stage. The relationship came in. I was like, how am I going to do it? The man I'm to get married to doesn't have what it takes to help me, to pay my bills. So I was doing it together, like that, like that. And after the whole thing, when we were together, I began to think in myself, I went for fashion designing. I learned that. I went for it. UMC of those days came up with a kind of something for ladies. I was there. I went for it. One lawful year, I said, they said, in those days, uh, this one that our children can operate computer. Now, it was not like that. Box in the desktop. They now said desktop publishing. Uh, uh, what's the name of this company again? Oh, they gave an offer that people should come for it. I went for it again. I was coming, if I'm coming from the de desktop publishing uh, class, I will go to UMC for the training for fashion designing. So we were doing it together. I don't know what happened. They came up with one. They, they, uh, you know how our Nigerians used to do. One day, yeah, UMC, huh? but one day, yeah, computer. Can, I took my certificate from there. The, we were unable to complete this, but I got machine. I got everything. I focus on the dex, uh, desktop publishing. Okay, let me continue with it. After we finish, they said we should go for IT. I said me, I'm not going for IT from the office office setting i went to those who, who are doing it for for what do you call it for all this uh, business center so i could remember my husband said it, to be my husband to be say ha, okay but yeah, too long. and i from there i will from it uh, okay but like, i will walk i will try to tomorrow say, let me go and do the training the man said it but i discovered that he started teaching me all i need to know about having you know starting my own business center so after the whole thing, we did graduation. Graduation until we are by Akunle, who have worked at the desktop publishing of today that you can just do by yourself on your phone. But that was what was outside there. I took my certificate from him again, and I came to this environment. On this street, I was the one doing. There is a woman beside Mommy Alimi. She has moved again because she too shifts to. I mean. She, uh, shift to fashion designing so she has a, a, a computer class then or will i call it a kileman quickness if it doesn't type eh? cafe she has something like that you'd make photocopy you make so that was how she gave me the shop she was pregnant and i was the one doing it for her so everything about computer everything about designing you carry logo from one place to the other Everything that needs to do about it, I know it because I mean, for, for two years I was the one managing the business for her. Yeah, Victor. When she came back, I told her, Oto Ge Omolefi, I came for Haiti and I spent two years with you. She was like, Please don't go. But I learned a lot of how to do business from her. And that was how the thing continued. I never knew the journey of being a pastor. Being a full-time ministry, how you can do it. I never thought of it that way when I was, because by then, me, Tim, Ari, but we were, I know that, me and brother Prince, we have a evangelist, he is he's married then. He's still single. Brother Prince, is single. Sister M is still single. But I kept doing all, all this. I'm on the future, Mudani. And at the end of the day, when we now got married, so what are we going to do? I want to further my education. That was when and I went for. He was saying it. Ha, and I have vision for is to, to have a school. The vision of God's fire evangelical mission is to have a school. That was when and I went for the NCE. I was so sick during the time. See, let me tell you something. The future, eh? Eh? How to achieve the future is in your hand. I saw somebody a few weeks ago. She was 50-something. She went back for her BSc. But she's looking at the future. But she's futuristic. And one more thing, she's not university. 
won kan ti bere sin bi mo ni mo si le sare lo kan to ma bi mo because so ba tu ya ma tu busy don't look at the presence ah e sin e je kan je ton owo ton wole e je kan sare ra gbogbo e e je ara so e je ara bata e je ara kin you never think of the future ha won mo yin ma to de won ma to need it owo their father may not be able to carry all the body how am i going to meet up so many believers don't know what is important what is next in their life what and who they should hold tightly and who and what they should hold lightly nkan meji ni akoko won omo nkan to ye kan fi o kan se dada kan di mu sisin eni to ye kan di mu sisin nkan to ye kan di mu sisin won omo be de ni won omo eni ati nkan ti o ye kan kan fowo nkan to ye kan fowo ye pere mu let me put it that way because until when we discover who and what we supposed to uphold we will let them go it will slip out of our hand and we'll begin regretting later in life I have the passion i have the dream when i was it was when somebody met me in the school any year i went with some of our sister to pray for her when i was still a single sister a young sister she was very nice in nurse i love the way she used to package herself so much like here so i told one of our sister in the church i noticed that sister lagbaja though she's a white garment person but she doesn't have a child huh and she came in there nice she was on my birthday was it last year she came for my birthday that I just like the way she used to package herself. Can we pray for her? The person said, is she born again? I said, don't say me. Let's go. We'll lead her to Christ and pray for her. And that was how we went to her house. When she didn't want to tell me, who did we make a be more? She was like, ah. she started crying. And she me, see, me that was small. I'm the last born. I don't go anywhere. I'm very much older. I'm a woman. And she knelt down. We led her to Christ. We prayed for her. Can you imagine? After nine months, she put to bed the first child. She came. She said they should go and call me. The Lord has done it. Have the first child. We were so happy. So from that baby, I begin to nurture the girl. So because of her, the first birthday, I went to go and learn how to bake cake. I was the one who helped her to make that cake. The first year birthday cake. So I mean, what? Don't know how she. And she gave me a thing warm. Allah to enjoy. Along Gaga for you know. I'm a she birthday late. So I did the little thing I can do. Gather the people. Everybody celebrated. You know celebrate with the, the small girl and after some time i started small coaching when she lets him find one you my i want more cake here you go and bring money so they will give me small small money that they are dropping that, that was where i helped her to do the cake and the remaining money i will now go and buy biscuit and share with all of them it has been like that i never knew that anything like this will come up by the time i get married to my husband so it was when she was she came to this street. She had a, a shop. I was just going to the Alaga sign. I met I greeted her ah, long time. Here go, we greeted each other and that was all. She now said, "Ah, what are you doing this area?" I said, "This is my area for years. Even I was squeezed very close here." He said, "What?" I fig bati ala josi to wa si mushe mi wichala. E ti gbagbe pe man kan won mo. I won pe. I say, "Eh." He said, "Even your open now she's serving." I say, "It's a lie." That small girl, he said, Yes, come, let me show okay. Follow me to the school. So when she got to school, she said, Wow, 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 it has been your 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 dream. I said, It's not my dream. I did not dream it when I was small. Me, I'm just doing it. Oh, that you just reminded me now that I've been teaching them. Oh, oh, it's okay, it has been there. Ah, okay. So we greeted each other. By the time she showed me the girl, the lady that we prayed for. To come to to life, ah, open me what? Oh, tani mo lefi when we very huge again. I say what? He said Abu Roelele. Olo onko da fun wale yo konsi. I say what? As I'm talking to you, she's married now. She called me. We, I was you know monitoring. I can I can remember. I called Brochio when they post ah uh, you know posted that to one far place like this. So I called Brochio help me. But what am I trying to say? It it was not like that, right from beginning. But I was just like future shall hold in Let's pursue it. 
that sometimes we don't know what we're supposed to hold. Iron me, vision me, alarm me. Ha, do you good or dear? Go jam on me. That was what Esau does not consider. feel If you read that scripture, the Bible says, He just said, What is at rights to me? What I'm starving. Give me food, Jare. And he ate and he forgot about anything called bad rights. The future, the purpose. So many of us believers, we don't know what our whole day we should hold tightly. Oh man, when you don't want to buy you a quarter to your code, you can you come and suffer from your father in the Lord to me? I've been my mother in the Lord. That woman, ah, I've told her, give me five years to go and work. I want to do some things on myself. All what you have been teaching me. I told her one day when I saw, I said, Mommy, Sherry, Bobo diary, me, see, low, ton, me, see, low, halfway. I will come back and see you. She laughed and said, I trust you. That's my girl. I trust you. I know you are doing something. I explained everything I'm doing to her. You may not be seeing me for some time. You will see my hand. She will not see my hand. She will not see my hand. No! I will struggle and make sure I'm there. Because she's somebody I cannot do without. She opened me up to ministry. She made me to the, the giant in me. She was the one who fanned the, the flame up. That no, you are more than this. And what I am doing today, even the women ministry and everything, it has been there. But she was part of those who said, You can do it. Regardless of whatsoever anybody is saying. A lot of us out of Kinney. Kini bad writing, yeah, what for Kini? What they call one in your one in Kini. You let them go, and that's the reason why we are still where we are. What about testimony in your back? Every ever make big ball, but he's on the pipeline. She pushed me there, so I am watching her back to back. Anything she's doing, any of her moves, I'm, I'm watching it just because she was part of those. Who pump that spirit in me? Oh, le she se, oh she she. She ruin yon 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 Who? And what? We should hold tightly. Who? And what? We should let go. We should hold with. Kob ni tu mo. En to bag. Ili a ye, kodja to bag bubwe ye. You hold that person. Ham's length. Oh, you need color because some of them can still do some things in your life. But you hold them tightly and never let them slip out of your hand and your present. Because that was what happened. Imagine how son let go of his bad rights because of bread and steel. Because of uh Lori, you know. What is bad right all about? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm starving. I'm dying. Can you give me something? Let me eat. What I get? What more more food? 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 Let's look at the value of bad rights. Sorry. The dictionary calls it what you are entitled to become on earth. Bad rights means what you are entitled to become on earth. Your purpose, your reason of being. What does it mean? What does it mean to my life? I'm hungry. What can finish now? No one after. He ate the stew, the bread, the porridge. The Bible says, oh, they got yes, he And that was the reason why the guy kept being ahead of him. It means Jesus said, take all I am entitled to become on heart. Take all that I am entitled to, to become and give me bread and steel. Forget about what's coming. What, what's the meaning of purpose? Give me some more purpose. Women we, we talk on purpose more from Thursday. That can it my, my my reason of being, my reason of coming to the heart. Kill it too Don't back 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 back. me And that was all. He ate the food and forget about this destiny. 
beloved do you know the list of things that are so important in your life that you should never allow to slip out of your hands do you know some things that you're supposed to not let go from your life i will show you some of it this morning let's talk about them let's talk about them let's talk about them let's look at the few of it number one number one thing that you should never allow to slip out of your hand is your relationship with god your relationship with your maker is of great value and something you should never joke with in any way <clears throat> in any way in any way never joke with your relationship with the lord no matter the situation no matter what do you know that with a solid relationship with god a person will enjoy so many things number one the clear understanding of his purpose on heart if you have relationship with the lord number one thing you will enjoy with god is that you will have clear understand of understanding of your purpose in life you will know who, why you have you have come to the heart If your relationship with the Lord is clear, he will show you what will become of you. What the future holds. What is there in the future for you? I can testify to that. And one of my, my posts one day, I said, I Yes, me because I know that. Yes, he showed me what he wants me to become. And he gave me a scripture to it. He said, with joy, shall you draw out water out of the wells of salvation? Your relationship with the Lord, if you make it to be cordial, to be strengthened, to be, to be strong, he will reveal what will become of you. Ask some kotoban Build a solid relationship with the Lord. I'm telling you, your future will be sure and be easy. Will be clear to you. And number two thing you would you will enjoy is protection from the wicked forces on the of the heart. In Psalm nine, Psalm ninety one, from verse one to ten. Psalm ninety one, verse one to ten. You 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 will enjoy protection from the wicked forces of the heart. Why enjoy? And number three thing you will enjoy from the Lord has says to great divine pro provision both here on earth and in heavenly places. You have great what? Great divine provision. If your relationship with the Lord is called here, These are the things you should take with tight hand, with all your heart. That book, 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 come and fail relationship with me at your lawn. Ah, ah. I was telling somebody, I said, the Bible said, don't slay me. I will just wait for him because I know it's, it's coming. When the journey was tough, do you think there is no options? There are several options that one can take. But because your love for God and your relationship with him, you will not want to do what is wrong. These are the things you're supposed to hold, you know, tightly. Your relationship with the Lord. Because if you allow it to slip out of your hand, you will regret it. Because I won't tell you. I, won't, I mean, I, I won't lie to you. There are situations in one's life that is only you and your God. How do you build it? How will you have confidence to face him and say, Ah, Oluwa, in the, in the jungle, can you come and help me? The relationship you have not built with him, how will you, somebody that you are not talking with, how will you just come to the person and say, hey, why you the person will first look at you from the same thing is applicable between you and God. So, make God your friend. Have cordial relationship with him. I have seen several. Anytime I want to pray, or 
the middle of the night, when it is time, when my alarm will wake me up, I will like, ah, I'm tired. But that thing inside of me will be telling me, no. <laughs> this is the right time for you to hear from him the direction. So, hold it tightly. Number two, of what you suppose, you know, not to allow to slip out of your hand. Number two is the wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom too is of great value because a person will never be greater than the wisdom he or she possess. Wisdom is a great virtue that you must not, you must not joke with. Don't allow it to slip out of your hands. Without wisdom, you will not be, you will not be outstanding. Wisdom was what, what made Solomon to be shining. He is the secret of, of being a popular person in his own time. And this is why you should be willing to pay what it takes to get wisdom. Let's look at the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7 to 9. Proverbs 4, 7 to 9. Do everything possible to have wisdom. I was saying it online when I was ministering. I said, I, I pray, I, my mentor told us that she prayed for one year for wisdom. I begin to pray my own. I diversify my own. Proverbs, the father, wisdom to do this. Wisdom to do that. Wisdom to have. Wisdom to do this. Wisdom got to a stage in my life that he will tell you, there are some things, keep quiet. Do as if you did not see. I noticed something nowadays. I don't know. I you ask my husband, show sure, sure, right. Some It's as if somebody would just tap me. Quah, quah, quah. Do you know that so-so and so-so thing is happening? Ha. By the time I will find out, it will be exactly. I say, what? That's another level. If I ask that question, hello, la guaja. The person is like that. Jesus, I ask my husband. Our mentor. Hope is right. Hope I'm seeing clear. That word came into my heart. You know, I want, I want. That's the whole style. My mom is from that line. You know, as we are growing up, she joined the Kero. So I was like, oh, oh, okay. It's just coming up now. Wisdom. I told God, wisdom for everything. Wisdom at if one era, King Tony over, Lord, give unto me. For one year, wisdom to have. Wisdom to have money. I don't know how to, how to generate it. I don't know how to start it. But God, please give unto me. Wisdom, the Bible says, is the principality. Let's have it. Who is there? Give us. Proverbs 4, 7. It says, wisdom is the principality. Therefore, get wisdom. And in all you're getting, make sure you do what? You get understanding. And then to 11. He said, exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. Nine. She will place on your head what? An ornament of grace. A crown of glory. She will deliver to you. And verse 10. Hear my son and receive my saying. <clears throat> and the years of your life will be many if you have wisdom. If you have wisdom. Because it's the principal thing. In your getting, in doing anything, ask for the wisdom of God. I could remember when I was to, when they paid for my uh, driving school. Anytime I get to the place, as I was about to enter the office. Father, I have some wisdom. Wisdom, the Bible says, will make me to know all things. And that's one of the prayers I pray every Monday, anytime I'm in the school. I'm to lead to the, the, uh, the, the staff in the school. I'm saying, wisdom to do all that is expected of us today. Throughout this week, that Lord should give unto us. So anytime I get to that place, the office, the driving school, they say, Madam, sit on this machine and be doing it. Because there is a machine. They will ask you to force practice in their office before they will put you. So the first day they put me inside the car. As we about, as I about to enter the car, oh Lord, wisdom not to make mistakes. My gender. What do you want to do? Lord, Lord, help me, oh, so that I will not put these people into trouble. And do you know the wisdom of God? As I'm acting for it daily, for that three weeks that they, I was on it, the man when he after the, the third week, he said, Madam. No, no scratch, nothing. Ah, that's serious. Bring your car, let me go and teach you. And that was how they took me to Akala Express. 
They say your own car, and you find him a wallo, and him a wabo. Ha! Oh, me see that similar one. Jesus, manually and come last joy. Automatically, he say yes, you can do it. With what you display in the office, you can do it. That was how I carried you to. I carried from here. I reached the uh, Akala to Kuala. I came back, and he said, "Pack." The day I was to verse from here, Mister Nuru was here. He said, eh, "Mama." I think car driving it when money ran out, you cannot move me from reverse. And that was how I started coming out of here. I will take it out myself, like that too. Wisdom is the principal thing. In your, all you're getting, get understanding because it will help you. It will put crown on your head. What you never think you can ever achieve with the wisdom of God in display, you would go beyond everyone, and they will like what? What is this? So try and get it. And this is why you should be willing to pay what it takes to get wisdom. Value the people you are learning wisdom from. Value them. You know there are some people in your life, they may be small. And that's the reason why you should not just for you by anybody, right? Don't look down on anyone. Because sometimes maybe may be a small child. That will just teach you wisdom. This is how to do it. This is how they used to do it. And by the time you listen to such a person, Madam, what do I want your opinion? Hold them with all your hand. Hold them tight. Hold them with all your heart. These are the set of people, whether small, medium, or higher than you. Hold them with your heart, with your with all your hand. And when you wisdom non coming. Have you not seen? Somebody that is teaching you something that will be angry because you are learning from them. Because you want to learn from them. The Bible says when God was about to take Elijah, he was the same person who ordained Elisha. He now said, That one, anywhere Elijah is going, Elisha, I want to follow. Oh, fair, learn, lower. People will not look anointing me. Elisha. I mean, Elijah will be running. Elisha kept following him. What is it? Go back from my back. I said, God, oh, me. He says, sir, may the Lord deal with me if I leave you this day. Anywhere you enter, whether in a hole, in a hole, we, do, we go enter together. Wisdom, Timothy, by the way, he Hey, good on Lord. And that was how Elisha followed and followed until the mantle was dropped on him. That is the wisdom we are talking about. The grace. Don't make Elijah. Elisha fegba. Elijah o gbala ti file. Elisha ni mama tele ere. O ba lo nu o i wo run until when he saw him going that the mantle fell. He took it up. If you go and read the scripture, you will discover that Elisha did well more than Elijah. To the extent that when he died, they put him inside the ground. Won gbe eyan to ti ku sori post e. Eniyan dide. Ni bi ti o to possess si agbara yen de. These are the things we are talking about. You don't just let go of whosoever that is a blessing to your life. Don't notice or do anything called one. Jack on my full law, my foot telling one. Hey, and he sent me a ferry. You know, be me quite a lame. Yes, ma. It might be no ma. You do as if you did not see so that you can tap something from such a person. Wisdom is the principal thing. Don't joke with it. So that is why you should value the people you learn wisdom from. Don't let anyone just. Cost a or put a division between you and them. I won't let that person go. I won't let him go. I won't let her go because I'm learning something from them. Number three. Number three of the set of things and people that must not slip out of your hand. Good character. Good character. It's also of internal value. It will open door for you, anywhere, anyhow. In the book, of, we are going to read about three scriptures under this: First Samuel eighteen five, First Samuel eighteen five, First Samuel eighteen fourteen to fifteen, First Samuel eighteen fourteen to fifteen, First Samuel eighteen and uh, verse thirty. The first one is First Samuel eighteen verse five. Can we have it on the screen? First Samuel eighteen five. Good character. It's also of internal value. It will open door 
if you value it well, if you undo it well, if you have good character, let's have it on the screen. Who is on that place? Please be quick about it. First Samuel 18, 5. Look at it. Say, so David went out wherever Saul sent him and behaved what? Wisely. Good behavior. Good character. And so sent, set him over the men of war. And he was accepted in the sight of all the people and also in the sight of Saul's servants. What for saying? He behaved well. Good character. He behaved well. He's one of the key points that can make people to love you. Good character. Let's look at another one. 18, I mean 14, 15. The same uh, first Samuel 18. 14 to 15. 14 to 15. No. First Samuel 18, verse 14 to verse 15. And David did what again? Behaved wisely in all his ways. And the Lord was with him. Verse 15. Therefore, when Saul saw that he behaved very wisely, he did what? He was afraid of him. If you are a person of wisdom, people will be afraid of your future. Hey, see it. You did not tell anybody. You did not talk to anybody over anything. Somebody that is even ahead of you told you lost. Okay. I You will take over. That's an insecurity kind of person. Because if you behave wisely, I want to rope one 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 in position because they will be afraid. Ah, Something happened to me of recent. And I was like, wow, wow. He knew a dajima jiu. Tima Feshele, what baby love me? Me, I'm not afraid. I would tell them, if you buy mutin shit, let me contact the person for you. The person now got to know about something I'm about I'm about to achieve. Or to acquire. The person went at the back to go and block. Oh, she don't pretend for me. He ne she never knew I knew about it. When the person called from her brother and said, so, 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 person, I laughed. Do you know that the same day she made that step was the same day she called me that she needed my help over something? I gave her my own help. She's afraid that what's in Pomolo, what's in Fa, what's in Toby, ah, oh, my Majumilo, oh, my Majumilo. And she went, she's looking for a way to block it. The person said, Emma, worrying thing. There's always a better way, a better chance. Ama gore buru molo. Ha! When you behave what? Wisely. Hacks for the wisdom of God. Sherry Ogon Long, who sent only outsmart ye. Who sent only Sari Koye. Only Oju or no long only moto see you. King Sari. He will not run, but I come when, become when that's it. Only number one. Call of yes number. I mean, on number 100, go off yes in number one. And people will like, if I look where I go, wisdom, no, where I go. And to in your own year, be And in your own year, you keep asking. Or to what level will not let you go to move again. Move closer. One year, never more, more way, low more way. I got that very of recent. I was like, wow, that's proverb. And I begin to make use of it. I told my daughter, I said, so, 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 do you know that they, it was brought to my office? My daughter said, what? I said, yes. On this aspect, they brought it here. It by the she was like, what? I said, any to more, more, no more way, no more way. Look just like that. I said, like that, like that. Who wants it now? Who wants it now? Any bar more way, no more way. So, but you must acquire the wisdom. The wisdom to make it possible. Let's see verse 30. First Samuel 1830. He's not, he's not even part of the military officer or anything. And that was how they put they put him ahead of all his brothers. Look and see verse 13. Then the prince of the Philistine went out to war. And so it was. Whenever 
this went out that David behaved what more wisely. Cotton she wise in a common what did he more than all the servant of Saul, so that his name became what highly esteemed. Ah, Lagbaja Atua Omo Cotton she of one on baby be reformed on a daily basis. Wisdom to know what to do. Wisdom to know how to talk. Wisdom to behave. I told somebody, we were canceling the person. The person was talking blah, 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 to the husband. I was like, ah, ah, ah. I said, for the past 20 years, nobody has ever come to come and help me settle my case with my husband. Not that he doesn't, he doesn't offend me. Not that he doesn't do things badly to me at times. He behaves strangely at times. So I said, but I just decided that why will I be calling people? Tomat, Tomat, Iberet, Tom Binu, Father, wisdom. And the wisdom at times will tell you, keep your mouth shut. My husband have to tell the person, if you continue like this, I, if, assuming I'm the one, I will have beat you blue black. I say, ah, no one thing, woman, you wouldn't have talked like this. In the place of the husband and the wife. He said, look at that, she's talking. Can you talk to me this way? Ah, what kind of a person are you? Ah, the man senior with you with so many years. Why are you talking to your husband like that? Oh, then you come and know. I know him, my I say, ah, but no, God, you can't pass on here. He said, no. Ah, he built him. Build your generation on your way. Oh, be on, you know. Ah, can you talk to me that way? I say, yes, I cannot talk to you that way. But I ask for the wisdom of God. Oh, come on, Lord. He got me going, she said, oh, my, see, be me, no. Only get me, I want to make a decision. So, be I will just walk away. I will just, Father, please help me. I don't want to talk. I don't want to do what it is. not because he's a pastor. I read your pastor, don't mind, no, I want to my dad. I want to they don't even care. But I caught that from my mentor. Our mother in the lodge. Only if he can get by, go for so okay, go deny him. I need to be a fair come. That's my mother in the law for you. I'm aware. Talk about it, love back with mommy. In combined shame, eh? Murito shebe, but basimi o makoto mi. Mushari po ruwa sho sorry. I don't understand why you are like that because I've never seen you this way. That's our style. He said that's what he learned from mommy for you, boy. She doesn't get herself concerned about things that's not a problem. That's how to lead as a pastor's wife. I say, wow, okay. I will add more of this to myself. And some people are angry about that. I have to do it. But Wisdom. Wisdom for how many years they've been together. And the same thing I'm we don't have follow gradually. I mo yagbati o logbon. The Bible says, David behave himself wisely. Behave yourself wisely. Ask for the wisdom of God on a daily basis. Let's look at this question. What does it take to be a person who understands important things? What does it take to be a person who do what? Who understands important things? You know, you remember where we are coming from. That some people don't know what is important. They don't know what they're supposed to hold and what they're supposed to let go. Like Esau, he let go of his birthright. But Jacob value it. Oh, demon, she should pay less. Moti bow the bomb, my love. Oh, Nick, I can't do my fish anymore. So let's look at it. Number one, deep thoughts. Deep thoughts is number one thing that takes a person to, to know how to hold things right in tightly. Deep thoughts create time for productive thinking. Why ye? Fui, but you want to marry your own. I was having one issue one time in one of our workplace and I began to wonder the person the voice is not you know horrible I cannot I cannot see I cannot see the person who is this person doing what is causing problem for us in this uh, area that day as I finished my prayer three I wake up three before three I started praying. I started speaking in tongues. As I was speaking, I know my husband will wake up. So his own time is for. I don't want to wake him. Another style. So it was like, 
By the time they, he opened his eye, whole body is I said nothing. Oh God, I forgot. I my so and I went to go and sit down quietly. Holy Spirit, show me. Ah! By the time I opened my Bible, I did, the way I read was the book of Second Samuel. Oh, oh, Joabuni. Ah! No wonder. Bye. Oh, only bye. She talked like this. She did. I hold everything and I call my husband in the morning. I said, Man, I go. My husband said, What? How do you know? I said, I will make some calls this morning and I will confirm everything that God revealed to me. As I call in the morning, it was like that too. What is often like? What's often like? What's often like? Oh, there's Kata Bogues. Oh, there's Kreshenu. Deep thoughts. If you are not a person eh, that have time for deep thinking, to man create time, you will just be doing foolish things. But with deep thoughts, you and your God, after you have studied the Bible, after you have prayed, calm down, let him talk. Oh, first sorrow, oh, Father Baleni. You see this Holy Spirit? Oh, first sorrow, it's because you are not calm enough to listen to him. So for you, to be able to, to hear from him, and to be able to do well, and to behave wisely, create time for productive thinking. And number two, which will be the last, pay attention to the Holy Spirit. Something was happening, I, I saw. I was just on my own. <laughs> and the person just was like, I was like, I look at my husband's face. My husband looked at me. Ha! Holy Spirit, oh no, fo fo. I want not to hear about oh my. What was she learning here? The person is not in the picture. Do you understand? But the Holy Spirit just wants us to know what is going on. Like what I say, like what I say. Can you come back, Baba? Mama, share money. Money. Ah, I mean, I want to say yes, yes, yes. I see. like my our mentor will say, I see. I see. That's our mentor for you. If you are telling him anything, say, I see. I see. I see. So I told the person, I said, I see. I say, I see. I see. He's the Holy Spirit that is talking about. I see. 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 I and the same thing happened. Ha! My husband said, Wow. That was how the secret was being leaked. Ha! Pay attention to the Holy Spirit. With these two points, you will be able to know, <coughs> understand how. What are the important things you should hold tight and things that you should hold lightly? Who and what you should hold lightly? Who and what you should hold lightly? It can tightly, it can lightly. With that, you will be like Jacob, more than him, more than David. And at the end of the day, they would look at you and say, Champion, oh my god, she oh my god, she oh my god, 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 oh my oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I believe I've been able to bless you this morning. I want you to bow your heads, begin to talk to the Lord this morning. Father, I crave for wisdom. Hey, wisdom. The Bible says it's the principal thing. The wisdom to know how to do things when. How? Ha ha ha. What do I feel for me? Lord, give unto me wisdom, 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 wisdom. The Bible says it's the principal thing. Oh, the Bible says if anyone lack wisdom, he should ask. I'm asking this morning, Father, for myself, my husband, my children, wisdom to know how to do things at every time, at every, at every moment. Father, I receive. 
wisdom to be the wife of your of my husband wisdom to be a pastor missus father wisdom to lead the women wisdom to lead the my workers i receive from your throne this morning of myself i can do nothing oh i need your wisdom daddy i need your wisdom wisdom to know what i supposed to owe tightly wisdom to know what to hold lord lightly i receive from your throne oh god father please help me help me that my relationship with the holy spirit will be called here help me lord help me lord i won't allow good thing right thing to slip out of my hand important thing to slip out of my hand lord help me jehovah help me lord help me lord so that my journey in life will be smooth and fast in the name of jesus i receive wisdom i receive understanding i receive knowledge thank you jehovah in jesus precious name we have prayed Amen. Shall we rise on our feet? As we declare for this week, that Father, we know you are with us. We know you are right beside us. We know you are ahead of us. You know what it takes, what, what is in, in, uh, in our new week. Father, go ahead of us. Subdue every power that have been positioned to destroy our, our life, our future in the name of Jesus. Lord, go ahead of us. Destroy every power, every forces that want to make us to be confused, that want to distract us this week. In the name of Jesus, we pray that everything we lay our hands upon this week shall prosper. We shall do great things this week. In the mighty name of Jesus, we take control over everything we are going to do this week. It shall be for his, uh, uh, for his success. In the mighty name of Jesus, your name shall be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? One, two, three, and let's go. The grace of our Lord.